So now in this video, we have a couple of LEDs here. They're being powered by five volts. It's outputting five volts because it can easily provide uh, 20 milliamps of current. We have 1000 ohm uh, resistors protecting those LEDs and uh, not that button. There we go. If I press that button, we can see how much current these uh, two circuits uh, need. They're parallel circuits with about four milliamps of current, which uh, makes sense. So. Uh, any case, at least for this part of the video, we're going to use 5 volts. And we have a uh, multimeter here. So this is an auto-ranging meter. Um, to get the forward voltage, there's power going through there. We could also measure it directly with the uh, meter. Um, if an LED or diode does not have uh, current going through it. But for this video, we're going to focus on current going through it. So we can just uh, measure the voltage and red probe goes wherever you measure the voltage. Usually you don't have to move this meter just for high current. And uh, there we go. So we have the uh, red one on the left side, blue one on the right. They're completely separate circuits. And we can uh, measure that uh, we indeed have five volts across these two. So it might be a little bit lower than the power supply. That's backwards. That's why we got that negative number right there. And uh, there we go. We put it that way. Now we got a positive number. So there's a little resistance and stuff where we have all the other connections. So we're not uh, getting quite the five volts across the loads it looks like. And uh, there's just a little bit of voltage drop. But in case we're interested in the voltage across the LEDs. So at this current, that is the forward uh, voltage. If more current was going through, it'd be a little bit higher. If less current was going through, it would be a little bit lower. Uh, but uh, it has a forward voltage of 2 volts, and as you can see, it's slightly below 2 volts. The rest of the voltage, I can uh, put that up there. Doesn't matter if I touch the resistor or the anode of the LED. I put the LED in the right way. And uh, there you can see, we got 3 volts. So there's about 3 milliamps of current flowing through there. Uh, 3 out of the 4 that we saw in the power supply but the power supply is not completely accurate either. It could be off a milliamp. And uh, there we go. Again, we got five volts. Now we're gonna go across the blue LED. It's kind of blinding me. And um, so I'll kind of zoom in. We have the uh, cathode down there and the anode up above it. Hopefully uh, you can see that. And so we will uh, measure the voltage across the blue LED. Again, I can go to the uh, anode of the LED there or to the resistor. So now you can see it's a volt higher than it was for the red one. That's because the blue LED has a forward voltage of three volts. And there you can see it's a little bit shy of three volts. The rest goes across the uh, resistor there. So we probably got two milliamps of current going through this circuit here. So three plus two is five. And even though this says four, this isn't as accurate as a multimeter. It might be a spec below five or something. So it says uh, four, but it's uh most likely uh, actually five milliamps current. So we can go up a lot with uh, this circuit. Um, there we go, we're getting close to 20 milliamps. That's where I have the limit. If, uh, I'll uh, raise this more. There you can see it cut off at 20 uh, milliamps right there. I'm gonna press that button. And uh, to do so, it lowers the voltage until those circuits uh, equal 20 milliamps because they are in parallel right there. So that's how that works. And uh, that's one way I protect the circuit in case I accidentally try to do like uh, 30 volts. That might fry out the circuits if I didn't have current limited, but it's actually keeping the uh, voltage limited. So let's go back to uh, 12 there. And, uh, and yeah, let's go to 12. That's a good spot. Hopefully that makes sense. So we uh, come back here and now the uh, LEDs, their forward voltage doesn't really change. I'm gonna do blue first but it changes slightly right there. So it was like 2.8 at that uh, lower current. Uh, that was much lower. Now it's like three. So it went up a little bit. So uh, it changes, but not a lot uh, when it comes to how much current's flowing through. And then again, we still have about, uh, or no, it's uh, gonna be three volts less than the uh, power supply, which was, uh, you know, 12 volts. So it's about nine right there. And uh, again, this one, same thing, there you can see it's slightly higher because there's a lot more current uh, flowing through. So it changes a little bit. It's not perfect, the forward voltage, but um, it's, you know, relatively stable, you know, and uh, in the grand scheme of things, 
it's uh, basically the same right there the forward voltage and uh, there you can see we are now about uh, 2 volts less than 12 volts right there so uh, since they're 1000 ohm resistors and uh, if you don't know the color code they tend to come in packaging that's labeled that says 1k right there doesn't show up very good though so I just wrote in a marker on the biggie right there uh, 1k and I make sure that the 1000 ohm resistors go back there so um, that's how we can measure it with power going through I'm going to uh, turn that off and I can turn the power supply off now usually I set it back to uh, 5 volts but uh, because I'm just kind of used to it always being 5 volts unless I change it now I'm uh, moving this down and uh, so the long lead the anode is up on top short lead the cathode is on bottom we make sure there's no way uh, power can go through it and also if we have other paths of electricity for this then uh, it will likely throw off our uh, reading and uh, so now we're going to go to the meter and uh, so it has continuity which I think it uh, goes to by default yeah that's continuity so that means if you have a short circuit it beeps it also tells the resistance I believe um, so uh, don't think that's going to work with the LED right there no okay and uh, but if we had like a, a resistance I think it'll tell us the resistance right there but it's not gonna beep and nope that's too much resistance but in uh, any case that's not what we want we want to press it again and now we got uh, the diode symbol you can see up there so if your con your uh, diode testing's not working maybe the meter is on the wrong setting and uh, every meter is different too and uh, but there you can see when it tests it so the LED is not very bright I think it's probably one milliamp of a uh, current so probably like half the current that we had uh, at the beginning of the video there you can see it says like 2.7 basically right there that's telling you the forward uh, voltage and you don't have to do LEDs with this and I think some meters uh, won't even uh, display um, a voltage higher than that I believe somebody asked me a question their meter wasn't showing and uh, the uh, voltage and I think maybe their meter just didn't show as high as this one so that's a rectifier diode we expect 0.7 volt forward voltage at low currents it's like 0.6 and uh, so you can do that so again uh, this is a uh, low current and you can see it's like 1.8 and uh, I think that's uh, just slightly lower than it was when when we had probably like three times as much current uh, flowing through it so it doesn't look like this one uh, very quite as much as that one um, but also that has a higher forward voltage so it kind of makes sense it would uh, shift a little bit more as current uh, goes up and down but that's how we can measure that of course they're diodes they don't conduct uh, the wrong way so we're gonna put the probes backwards and we'll see you know nothing shows up on the display it's uh, the voltage that it would take to uh, push current through here is uh, very high uh, right now I think like 12 volts or something and um, so the meter is probably not applying uh, like 12 volts so no current's gonna go through we're not going to get a measurement if you're testing Zener diodes or something there might be meters where you could so we make sure uh, we set this the right way that was the right way I just changed the uh, probes that we were measuring there so any case uh, you know this is a uh, very basic stuff um, so if you're new to electronics hopefully this made sense uh, what we were uh, measuring is that these uh, LEDs and diodes um, even when they're forward biased that's the direction where they conduct easily you still need a certain amount of voltage before they will conduct if you don't have that much voltage um, they're not going to light up so as we saw for the red one that was like uh, uh, probably 1.5 volts at a very very low current so we'll zoom back and I'll uh, demonstrate this so I'm gonna drop down uh, we could go up to uh, 12 volts easy because we're using 1000 ohm uh, resistors and also I set the power supply to limit so uh, one volt you know maybe I put one in backwards or something I don't think so uh, but you can see that the LEDs are not lighting up we can just get rid of this uh, meter now and um, we can uh, show stuff so we don't have enough voltage to light the LEDs yet so that's something you run into with electronics is you don't have enough voltage and uh, you may need to find a way to double that voltage or something there's circuitry for that um, but uh, any case this is just to demonstrate 
that uh, we're going to need a certain amount of voltage before we get anything. So there we go, uh, two volts. And um, if we had a lower value resistor, this would be uh, a lot uh, brighter. We had a lot lower uh, value resistor. Um, but in any case, as we saw before, uh, this builds up some voltage. The rest goes across there. And uh, so the more it limits current, the more voltage is going to build up across there in relationship uh, to that one. Um, but yeah, the blue one's not lit up at all, as you can see there. But uh, we can inch our way up. You're going to see the red LED gets brighter fairly quickly because uh, we're all that extra voltage we're getting is not the forward voltage anymore. It's just extra voltage. So you're going to see it go up. But... It took a while before we got a little bit of current through the blue LED, and uh, there you go. Now you're going to see it's going to uh, go up uh, rapidly, and if we go up, you know, one volt at a time, you know, the the jumps aren't in brightness, aren't as dramatic as they were at the lower ones because it's, you know, uh, not making a big difference in how much uh, current is flowing through. Hopefully that makes uh, sense. Six, seven. So, you know, it's getting brighter every time. Um, but there you can see, you know, we needed to go up, uh, you know, quite a few volts to get uh, twice as bright. Whereas at the beginning when it was like really dim, just a, a fraction of a voltage was getting it like twice as bright. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but in uh, any case, main takeaway was we were looking at uh, the forward voltage, how it affects the circuit. You have to exceed that uh, forward voltage to get them to light up. And uh, when it comes to reverse bias, same thing. The voltage is higher, but, uh, you know, you need more voltage before it will conduct reverse bias, which you don't do with LEDs. They'll burn out. But there are Zener diodes that are made to conduct reverse bias. So um, some diodes you will conduct uh, reverse bias. You want to avoid reverse bias uh, conduction with uh, rectifier diodes like this. Um, but uh, for this particular one, it's the 1N4001. These come in electronic kits commonly. A lot of people uh, ask me what uh, transistor I'm using. If you just get a random kit, it tends to be the 1N4001. But as long as it's a rectifier down, it doesn't really matter. Um, if it's like this size, it's probably got like a reverse uh, voltage of uh, 50 volts. And um, just something to be aware of. But I always look at the part number and look up the data sheet. So in any case, this was a long video. Hope you still enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the links down below. And uh, they all help out a lot. And uh, I'm going to post uh, videos on the screen since uh, this one's longer and I remembered to add this buffer at the end. So yeah, check out uh, the links on the screen too. See you in the next one.